And at that moment, before any thoughts can enter my mind, I begin to run. Every sound outside of my body fades out, and the only thing I can hear is my own heartbeat and a certain ringing in my ears. Use it. Use it. Use your power. Use it. Hmm. The power. <gasps> ha! Ha! Akashima approaches before my very eyes. The power. The power! The power of Christ compels you! I jump at Akashima and press my hand against his forehead. I stared at his unfocused eyes. Sink. <laughs> oh, shit. My brain feels like it's being sliced apart. It hurts to breathe after sprinting full speed. But... Hey. Noise looks at my face. Across me, Akashima is lying down. Noise. He somehow made it in time. Oh, that's good. The relief rises from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. But Noise was glaring at me with dangerous eyes. Uh huh? That voice just now. Uh, voice? I heard it when I lost you. So you really can do it. Uh. I didn't know my ass. You always pretended you didn't, but you really could. You used it in rhyme before, didn't you? Then let's do it. Once more, right now. Hurry it up. <laughs> Noise pushes down on my shoulders. No way to fight back, I'm pinned down to the ground. Noise's silently furious eyes pierce me. Ugh. Hurry up. I said I can't. I reluctantly used it just now, and I really don't want to use it again. Use it. I said I can't. Noise's hands push my shoulders harder into the floor. Pain of having both my bones and muscles pushed into the ground twists my expression. Why do I have to look into those eyes of his, even though I just saved him? It's not that I wouldn't do it again, but... Why do I have to be pushed down and given to his demands? Bitterness burned into my throat as I opened my mouth. You too. Why have you been sticking to me all this time? Because of rhyme? Because of losing? I don't get it at all! <laughs> at that moment, Noise's eyes go cold. Then don't try to save me. You have... You may have saved me for your own self-satisfaction, but I would have just gotten what I deserved if I died back there. Since I'm the one who challenged him, you had no right to intervene. But why did you go and save me? Just leave me alone. If you think about it, you're the one who makes no sense here. <sighs> you know well what I want, but you still haven't replied. And yet you saved me. What the hell is up with that? Well, it was pretty convenient I was there with you. Though I don't know what you were trying to get out of it. Or I don't even need treatment for these wounds. <laughs> A dry laugh spills out of my mouth when I hear Noise say that. So he thought I just had him around for convenience sake. So that's how it is. So he thinks I'm that kind of guy. Does he think that I was trying to get something out of him by kissing him? I can't even feel that shocked anymore. So that's how you see me. Was there anything I missed? There is. A lot. Isn't there anything you care about? Maybe even worry about? No. Noise denies it right away. When it comes to people, I'm always looking for something in return. That's why I care about people, so I can feel good about myself. There are no reasons other than that. Wrong. It's a weird way of thinking, and one that's too sad at that. I feel a little reassured when you're here, but in no way are you just for convenience. 
I wasn't ever trying to get something out of you. How can you let yourself think that way after all this? Reassuring is just a petty, a pretty way of saying convenient. I said you're wrong. It's not like that. I need to keep a watch out for you. It's just that I don't want to leave you alone. Sorry, but I'm far stronger than you. I know. I didn't mean that either. It's not about being strong or weak. I'm able to use my words too well. I just grasped Noise's hand on my shoulder. He immediately tries to pull away. But I won't let go. I'll treat your wounds no matter who your opponent is. You're a very inconvenient person to me. I have no reason for it. That's what I mean. Why would you want my wounds to heal quickly if you had no reason for it? You don't get anything out of me having some utility value anyway. Would you listen? I've said it over and over. Would you listen? I've said it over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Honk. <laughs> Things like that have nothing to do with this. I don't get you. I seriously can't <laughs> understand. You're a weird creature. You're way weirder than I could ever be. When I let go of my clasped hand, Noise stands up with a sour look on his face. Looks like his anger has subsided for now. Ow, 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 ow. Exhausted, my headache came on harder than it did before. For your information, our conversation isn't over yet. I don't have any intention of leaving you be. You're definitely gonna fight with me. Yeah. While getting up, I held eye contact with Noise and nodded my head. Either way, Noise helped me save Granny. So I have to fulfill his wish in exchange. His request, not his wish. What the hell am I saying? And now, I can honestly say that I won't run away from it. Since it's an undeniable reality that I've done rhyme before. I don't know when it'll happen, but it will. Someday. So what about this guy? Noise steps on the collapsed Akashima's back and rolls him face up. I can see his face, his mouth wide open. Akashima's current state is the same as Mizuki's. I'm guessing he was being manipulated by someone. Ugh. I stopped Akashima by using my power. I was using my voice, but it didn't actually feel like it was mine. And those words, too. Sink. Those words seemed to come out naturally, but they felt rather unfamiliar to me. I really don't want to use that power after all. I feel like I'm slowly losing myself. Doesn't look like he's gonna wake up. Wanna leave him? Mmm. Hey. Ah, uh, sure, yeah. Fuck him. Startled, I nod to Noise. Noise looks at me with a dubious expression. What is it now? Mm, no, it's nothing. My coil rings. It's a message. Uh, spam again? It has been completely opened. Give it to me for a sec. Uh, uh, hey! Noise grabs my coil, connects it to his own, and starts analyzing the message without permission. Again. I knew it. I can't trace it back. No, more like it wasn't sent from any specific location. <gasps> oh my god, I get it now. I can't tell you, but I get it now. I get it! Oh my god! <sighs> what do you mean? It was sent in a camouflage using the waste data that drifts over the network in huge amounts. It's just that this is platinum jail. It's hard to consider someone accessing it from the outside. That being the case, I'm not sure what the sender's intention is. So we should think someone inside Platinum Jail contacted us? Yeah. Uh, but if this message is a trap, what does that mean? Doesn't it look like it? The doors of the tower are open and all. In that case, it really is a trap. Toeways. For sure. What do you want to do? Well, 
Right now it looks like we're in a situation full of traps blocking us in every direction. Going to the tower? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's for nothing. Yeah, let's go. I don't know whether this is really the right path or not, but for us who are already in the hands of the enemy, there's no time to think or choose a different path. In that case, we can only move forward. We run for the looming tower, being cautious as to not run into the police or Yakuza. Circling around the tower, we head for the back door. Two guards stand there. First off, we need to assess the situation. Or, at least I plan to, but noise jumps out before I can do anything. Uh, noise! Ugh. Ugh! Noise gives the guards' faces a good wailing, one after another. And they're on the floor in no time. Come on already! <laughs> you... That was way too risky. The full force of my earlier anxiety finally swells up as I stand in front of the back door. Mm -hmm. Noise silently holds up his coil to the, authentica the blah, authentication monitor. An error will appear if it isn't authorized, but... The light on the door lock changes from red to blue and the door slides outward, ready for us to enter. It opened? Why? It said so in the message a while ago. All the doors would be open. Hmm. <laughs> this really is... A trap, huh? A chilling tension emerges in me and I shiver. But we have no choice. <sighs> Let's go. We exchange looks and enter into the tower. The inside of the tower was made of such a pure white material that it was almost dazzling. The floor and walls were polished like a mirror, and coldly reflected our figures. I've heard that there's an area open to the general public in the tower, but I don't see any visitors. Probably because we came through the back entrance. Hey. We carefully proceed down the hallway, and eventually see a guard walking on the other side. We slip into a side hallway and hold our breath. Hmm. After waiting until the guard passed, we calmly re-enter the hallway and survey our surroundings again. The guard had come from the direction of an elevator at the end of the hall. Let's use that. Okay. Just to be safe, we make sure that the guard is far away from us before quickly running to the elevator. We step inside of the ready elevator and Noise pushes the button to send us to the top floor. With a small shake, the elevator begins to move. Feeling slightly relieved, I sigh, but I can't completely relax just yet. I turn my eyes to the sound of a coil and see Noise looking at a map. This guy. I wonder if he has a plan or something. Elevator gradually decreases speed and stops without a sound. What was beyond the door had an entirely different atmosphere compared to the first floor. This floor is white as well, but it's much longer and much more plain. There's something I need to do here. Noise closes his map and walks down the hallway. He watches his feet while he walks as if he's looking for something, and stops. It's here. Noise points it out with his chin. He leans over to the network panel opening in the wall. Then he pulls a cord out of his coil and plugs it in. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm gonna reroute this floor's network. Reroute? This floor and beyond is off limits to normal people. The security is tight too. So now I'm going to give off a fake signal and keep this floor clear. No matter how rough we get, it'll look like this floor is perfectly fine. 
It'll only work as a temporary measure, but it's better than nothing. Noise pulled out its closed monitor display and keyboard, working away. I watch the words spill onto the screen as he keeps tapping away on the keyboard. His speed is near godly, but it still looks like it's gonna take some time. It takes some courage to stay where the enemy is for such a long period of time. I stood there fidgety, waiting for Noise to finish. <sighs> Are you done yet? Just a little more. Noise answers without stopping his hands. A small figure appeared in the hallway while I kept on alert. It's too small to be a human. That's... a dog? A slender dog with short black fur calmly walks this way. What is that dog? Is it someone's all-mate? Either way, it's still weird. Uh, hey, Noise! I'll be done soon. No, wait. Maybe it isn't a good idea to talk to him. He's concentrating, but... I open my bag to ask Ren. Ren, what is that? Why is a dog here? Oh, run. That machine. M machine? The black dog comes to a stop. Oh my god! And then opens his mouth wide. Now that is some Resident Evil shit right there. A long, narrow iron pipe comes out of its deep red mouth. <gasps> That's a special type of ultimate with crime prevention equipment added to it. Crime prevention? Uh, noise, run! Noise looks up and immediately begins to run with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm done here. But the dog is faster than us and sends a bolt of light flying straight at us. Uh, watch out! Oh, I didn't wait for you. Make a sound. Ugh. Ouch! I pushed noise just barely out of the way and we continue running. What was that just now? It was like a beam. When I lift my chin up, I see the wall of the beam had hit now. A black color. Burning and melting. If that had been a direct hit... I shiver at the thought. Uh, just in the nick of time, too! Ouch! When I try to get up, a numbing pain runs up my side. I find a scalding burn under my torn shirt on one side of my body. I must have been hit by that beam when I was tackled noise out of the way. That... you... Uh, forget about me! Over there! I point frantically at the dog while noise scowls at my wound iron pipe out of its mouth is pointed right at us. It's gonna shoot the second shot. <clears throat> I don't know what he was thinking, but Noise dashed up to it. Uh, noise! Noise takes out a cube from his side while running and pushes it into the dog's mouth, trying to stop it. What is he doing? And suddenly smoke fumes out of the dog's mouth. Its feet jerk and wobble until it falls to the ground. That just... Did the cube clog up the pipe and cause it to backfire? Jeez, it would have been dangerous if he hadn't, didn't have that perfect timing. That was seriously terrifying. Sheesh. He's as reckless as he ever was, but he did save us. But it was nothing but a fleeting thought. At the back of the hallway, more similar-looking dogs appeared. Oh, good. How many more of them are out there? More of them? Hey, can you run? Uh, yeah. Let's hide somewhere and let them go past. Tell my, tell my